I'm here with Olympian. And what, what was that medal you got? Silver. Oh, my goodness. Silver medalist, Paris 2024, Miss Anna Cockrell. And what university did you go to? The University of Southern California, fight on. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Um, <laughs> my roommate in, in my Barcelona Olympics was Quincy Watts. Oh, yeah, the great, the great Coach Watts. Great Coach Watts. So how do you feel about your race today? You know what? It was a new race strategy. Mm-hmm. There are some things I really liked. I think hurdle one was really nice. Hurdle four was not so nice. Um, execution at the end of the race wasn't as good as I would have liked it to be, but... It's nice to know we can run good times in many, many different kind of ways. I think it was like a 53-1. There was a period of time when I would have been like over the moon about a 53-1. So to be able to run it on a kind of sloppy executed race, it can't be too once okay. you Once you break that 52-second barrier, I mean, it's, it, that's, that's important. That's important. Um, I've watched, like I said, I've, I've watched you in college. I've, um, I've watched your ups. I've watched your downs. How, does it, how did it feel to go to, to Paris and win the silver medal? I mean, in the 400-meter 400, 400 hurdles. It was super exciting, you know. I've um, been working really hard for a long time, and it was my dream, my family's dream, my coach's dream, so it was great to just put it all together at the right time. It was Who's your coach? Coach Boogie Johnson. Boogie's your coach? Boogie's my coach. Oh, yeah. I've been with him for about three years now. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, Tokyo next year, World Championships. You yeah. got the 5187 under your belt already. Uh-huh. Um, so what are your plans for the rest of the season once you finish Brussels? Ooh, I'm going to go lay down. <laughs> I'm going to go to my parents' house and hang out for a little bit, Thank just you. reset, um, I think get ready to make another big commitment, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to take some time off, and once I'm done, get right back to training. How was, it, how was that transition being going from a collegiate athlete to now a seasoned vet? Oh, man. Uh, year one as a pro was very hard. <laughs> my first year with Boogie was really, really tough. It was a very different training style than I'd been doing. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, it's just part of the process. Every time you reach a new level – you're going to have to work your way back up to the top again. So Now I have another question. Have you been approached by Michael Johnson and his running running situation? Yeah, we talked about it briefly, but um, it was at Olympic trials, and I just kind of was like, hey, we got to circle back because I got a goal, exactly. and I'll get to that when it's time to get to that. Okay.